Other news stories for you tonight. We start with a call for changes by local fishermen. They say laws on the books right now are wasteful. News 8's Tina Detell has information about ways to better the business. We were actually lucky to be here to catch a boat coming into the harbor and unload its fish. Now, the folks around here tell us that fewer boats are going out because of these federal regulations. Gambardella's wholesale seafood used to unload boats every day. Now they are lucky if they see two boats a week pull into Stonington Harbor. They say federal fishing limits are putting their industry on ice. Joe Bombster, who usually hauls in scallops on the Patty Joe, says when they fish for fluke, the limits on catches force them to throw most of it back. Every tow after that, you had to throw in back that, that amount over the side. Of course, it's dead. So it serves no purpose at all for anybody. He says it won't add to the fish population and is a waste of good fish. If nothing else, we could bring it in and, and give it to the homeless or something. The stock was back. Now they want to take 40% away from us. Mike Gambardella and a room full of fishermen met with Senator Richard Blumenthal, hoping to get federal regulations changed. The fish, sea bass and flounder, have moved from North Carolina and Virginia up to Connecticut, but the quotas remain the same, so I want to change those limits. Southern states have higher limits, even though they fish the same waters as these Connecticut fishermen, who have the lowest limits. They are antiquated and outdated. There's no such thing as overfished. There's only a handful of boats left that fish, period. The only ones that are in danger are the fishermen themselves. All these fishermen want is a level playing field. They say they fish the same federal waters as the fishermen who come from those southern states. In Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.